Tales of Felictini's, my name is Robotini, and today, I am bringing another Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Walkthrough, Part 5. In the last episode, we explored Rustboro City, we caught ourselves a new team member, which was Shroomish, and we defeated Rustboro City's gym leader, Roxanne, and surprisingly, while I was ending off the episode, we actually got ourselves a Spear Tomb from Water Trading. In today's episode, we will be going forward on our adventure, onward to the next area, and battling May. And as you can see, it's it's an eight, it's a late night recording session again. It's fucking one in the morning here. I've been living in my basement for the last day and a half, recording everything for you guys. Oh, you don't battle May? What the hell? Did we already, already battle her? I don't know. I could have sworn we battled May. Anyway, in today's episode, like I said, we're gonna go explore further ahead. We're gonna go get the Duford goods. Because some Team Aqua Grunt stole him once again, because this guy over here doesn't have a shit together! Okay. Oh, you there. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in Paddleburg Wids. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua, I have to get the Devon parts back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Wow, okay, uh, well I can definitely get them back for you. So yeah, here we are, Route 116. Oh, We forgot to catch- we, we need to catch an Nkata here, okay. Oh shit, okay. Where? Oh, it's over there. Fuck, I, I want a skitty now. I th did we already catch a skitty? Let's go real slow here. Real fucking slow. Cause No! Fuck you, young Sir Joey. Who is this? This guy better have something good, because you just fucked. Yeah, f young Sir Joey interrupted me. My lord, I could have got myself a fucking skitty there. Anyway... I don't even think we- I don't- do we have a skit? I don't even know, but yeah, so today's episode we're gonna do a shit ton of stuff and we've got to heal up, but whatever. So yeah, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Marathon is back on. I know today I only uploaded one episode, which was this morning, um, but I'm really sorry about that. But uh, this Saturday and Sunday you'll begin everything, the walkthrough should actually be done by the end of tomorrow, so uh, yeah, and then uh, tomorrow... At exactly, exactly 12 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 10 p.m. for 10, 10 a.m. for me, you guys will be getting the Pokemon Omega Ruby series. Now, I'm not going to say what that is just yet because it's not going to be a walkthrough. No, no, sir. It's going to be something way more interactive. So, uh, that should be coming out tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm hoping by then I'll actually have up to like part 12 ish uploaded. The Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, so that way I can put more effort into that series, get it kicked off with. And it's gonna be a series that's gonna be way more interactive for you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys will love this series, honestly. It's something you guys have always wanted me to do on this channel, but I don't really do much of them just because, well, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. But, Youngster Joey, you interrupted him. Yeah, I could have got myself a Skitty there, which I think I already have. Yeah, we already have a Skitty. So, never mind, Youngster Joey, you did not interrupt me that bad, but still, that Skitty was probably like real prem and was probably would have been really good, but anyway. Um, I do want to get myself an Nakata over here, though, just because uh, Nakata is pretty good, and I just like filling up my fucking thing right there. A Wishmer! Okay, a Wishmer. Um, I, I was thinking about having an Exploded for a while, but I was like, eh. I don't know, we, we, have, we have a normal type already, which is flying normal types, so I don't really think we need more normal types, but let's value. Let me teach you how strong a, my adorable Pokemon is. Okay, well, I, I don't know. Pokemon can be adorable and strong, but I don't know, like... Oh, yeah, Meryl's pretty strong, though. It's pretty cute as well. Like, look at his little cute Meryl. Except in this, in the 600 games, Meryl kind of looks like it gained weight since, like, the last games. If you, if you look at this, like, at these, at the 3D models, compared to the sprites we had in, like, black and white, a Meryl kind of looks like it's gained quite a bit of weight. But I'm not judging here. I'm not judging. I'm not saying hey, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it kind of looks like it gained weight, and yeah. Ooh, double team. Um, nah, nah. So I was reading your comments today, and I'm really sorry. I can't really reply to or anything like that. Ooh, yes, Mega Drain. Oh, that's gonna be so much. That's gonna be so helpful. Uh, I'm gonna delete that with absorb. But yeah, I was reading your comments today, guys. And uh, before I get going any further. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the support, you guys. Honestly, it means the world to me. And it is, yeah, it honestly means so, so much to me. Part 1 has a 1,000 views with, like, almost 150 likes, which is amazing. Thank you so much, you guys. It really means a lot to me. And, yeah, it honestly just means so much to me. Anyway, uh, thank you, thank you so much. So, yeah, but I was going through your comments today while uh, when I woke up this morning, because I actually, like, 
passed out of like five and then yeah anyway um I was reading your comments today and it seems that you can actually get hidden abilities for these Pokemon you like find like this like where they're where they're like their tail sticking out or like some of their bodies sticking out you can actually get their hidden dream world ability not dream world abilities some of their hidden abilities and that's pretty cool so I actually might later go and look for um uh a Taylor with a good ability or something. I don't know. I kind of like my Taylor right now though because it's good level level 15 and all that. It's got wing attack. But then again, I kind of want to hit an ability Taylor because that thing will be really strong. But for right now, I think we'll stick with this. And yeah. Also, people have been asking me how do I trade X and Y Pokemon over to uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? That is a good question actually because, well, last night. We saw we got a spear tomb and it came from Ambered Aquarium. And Ambered Aquarium is not in this game, it's in action X and Y. Uh, so that's a good question. You basically you get these Pokemon by Pokemon Bank and you, you're able to use Pokemon Bank after you beat the game. So it's not for a long, long time until you're able to actually use uh, until you're able actually to get X and Y Pokemon in this game. Um during main game there's no um whatchamacallit, there's no uh, X and Y Pokemon that appear in main game, it's all just 4th gen Pokemon, or not 4th gen, 3rd gen Pokemon that appear. So I could have done bios for this, but I, I, I honestly thought they're going to add some, a few new generation Pokemon in the wild and stuff like that. But so far, from like the stuff I've seen with Maryland's website and like other people's websites, and Cerebi, all the Pokemon you find in the wild are the exact same you'd find in Ruby and Sapphire. Um, if not, it, there's like a few little changes, so yeah. But yeah, that's basically how you're able to get to X and Y Pokemon in this game, or any other Pokemon that's not in this game. This is after you beat the game, you're able to use Pokemon Bank. So yeah, but let's use this Mega Drain to get this fucking Geodude killed. There we go. Oh, you got Sturdy, eh? You got Sturdy! And Sturdy's nothing to my Shroomish. Man, yeah, Shroomish is putting in real work today, though, honestly. People are saying that Shroomish is going to be pretty hard to train up. But no, man. Shroomish is actually doing pretty well right, right, right now. It doesn't have the Stun Spore ability or the... <laughs> the I don't know. It, ha it has... Yeah, I think it's Stun Spore ability. Or um, it basically paralyzes you if you have physical contact. But this, this Shroomish is pretty good, actually. I really like it. It's leveling up really fast as well. So, man, oh man. Level... Ah, fuck. See? That's the thing I, that's the thing I don't like about having the experience share. Is because now HM is getting levels as well, but luckily the experience share works different than this game where um, the experience isn't split up among isn't split up evenly anymore. It's actually you if you get 900 experience from the Geo dude, everyone gets 900 experience. It's not split up anymore. Okay, so we got a Nankata and a Wishmer. So I don't know. I might go catch this Pokemon later on, but for right now we're gonna use cut on these massive ass trees. Because we need to get- th Holy shit, did you see that? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I, I just missed that. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like stars and stuff and it's green. Oh, okay. So, that tree is there just so you can pass up this trainer battle over here. But I'm going to battle all the trainers here just because, well, I want to battle all of them. And yeah, you kind of you kind of have to because that way you get experience and shit. Schoolboy Jerry. Rots, eh? Okay. I need, like, I need some sort of dark type. That's what I just noticed. Because Tate and Liza are going to come up, and I'm going to have no Pokemon with, with any dark type moves or anything like along that line. Quick Attack, but for, I think, I'm pretty sure I can deal with Quick Attack or something like that, because if I remember correctly, Tate and Liza has a, uh, uh, what, uh, freaking, uh, a Soul Rock and Lunatune, so I don't really think I need to worry about them having too many Psychic types that can, like, destroy my team. But luckily, I don't even have any weakness against Psychic my team, they're all, it's all neutral attacks, so... Yeah, but I'm just kind of worried about them, because they, they, for some reason, they've always given, oh, fuck. They've always given me trouble, so I'm kind of worried about that gym, but that's later on. Now's worries are not today's worries, that's later on's worries. Yeah, I just made up a quote right there. On the spot! Okay, um, you, I want to battle you, I want to battle everyone here. Now, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I remember there being way more trainers here than there is now. Like, I'm pretty sure in the old games there were more trainers here than there were. Anyway, I like- Ooh, a Shroomish. I like your style, lady. I like your style. You got a freaking Shroomish as well? So do I. Um, Pokemon, let's go into a Scott. 
And yeah, so far, people haven't really told me to speed up battles or anything like that. So, uh, I just, yeah. But let me know. Uh, for So right now, it's pretty good. The battles are going pretty fast, so I'm not even going to bother speeding it up because it's going pretty well. And yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they, the, the battles are actually sped up now or something. I don't know. The, the animations are quicker, I should say. Mmm. Delicious drink. Mountain Dew all the way. Okay, um... What do you have? A Wishmer? Yeah, I can... Mmm... I kind of want to... Yeah, let's go with Shroomish here. Shroomish is an experience. Let's go. Let's go with Shroomish. Let's go. Even though you get all the same experience with the experience share. Honestly, the experience share... Ever since the experience share was remade in X and Y... It's broken now. Like, it's honestly the most broken item in the game. It, it's so broken, the, the experience share. But I love it. I love it and hate it at the same time. Because that... Because one... It makes the game way easier because when you're at the Elite Four, if you have a, if, I don't know, I don't know if they implanted the Lucky Egg in this game, but, in fucking X and Y, if you have the Lucky Egg on your first Pokemon, and you've your experience share turned on, and you have the Lucky Egg on you at all times, by the time you get the Elite Four, I'm not joking you, and you battle all the, like, wild Pokemon and shit, by the time you get there, your Pokemon are the 90s, like, I, my team I had, in my own version of the game, when I got to Elite Four, I was in the fucking 90s. Like, I had two Pokemon in the 90s. The rest were, like, 83s, 86. Honestly, the experience share is so, so broken in these games. I don't know about Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Like, I haven't seen any walkthroughs. I, like, I literally I haven't played ahead on my own copies. Like, I actually got my two copies today after school of, like, the physical copy. Because I just downloaded this game. And, uh, yeah... So, yeah, <laughs> man, I gotta show you guys this dance, like, look at this, I can fucking do, like, the, like, look at this. Yeah, okay, anyway, let's move along here. Um, I kinda, oh, what is that, what is that? Normal flying, is this another tail -o? Man, this is a guts ability, Talo. Is that good or bad? Like, wh what kind of ability does my Talo have? Because I know there's there's a Talo with a really good ability that I, that I was looking at today, that you can like on Twitter and stuff. And is it is that? Do I have a guts ability summary? Yeah, yeah, no, no, never mind. This Talo is a regular Talo. I thought this. I thought it was like a rare Talo. Anyway. For a sec, I was like freaking out. I'm like, man, this Talo is pretty good. Most this is the regular Guts Talo ability. Okay, so we're done over here. On where we go, but um, there's a few things I want to show you guys up here. So this hole over here, this is actually a secret base. Uh, yeah, secret bases are introduced in this game. If you guys did not know, we have secret bases back finally. So I'm really stoked about that. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's any hidden items around here. Um. Yeah, I legit don't think there's any hidden items around here. I think, if anything, there's going to be one right here. Or... Yeah, I don't think there's any hidden items. Like, honestly, I'm sorry. I don't think there's any hidden items around here. But whatever. Let's go into this Whismer Cave over here. Because we'll need to go find the fucking Devon Goods. Because that guy... Hey, it's old man Pico! Yeah, man! Freaking Pico all the way. Rust Turf Tunnel. So in this tunnel, the only Pokemon you can find in here is Whismer. So, if you want to whisper, come in here, and as you can see, Rust Turf Tunnel, only Pokemon you find here is freaking, uh, Wishmer. and Wishmer are pretty good, like, I'm not gonna lie. What, what are you coming? What, are you coming? Come and get some then, oh, I will come and get fucking some. Come on, Pico, like, seriously, man. Oh, okay, I was like, what the hell, there's, I can, ah, to all at all, this horse Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And that's the thing I made a gate get away into this tunnel to nowhere. And you! Now you're, you're here to battle me, really? Yes, I'm here to battle you. Took my pe you took my buddy's Pico. Not acceptable. You're challenged by Team Aqua Grunt. She sounds like a freaking Poochiana. Who do you think you are, man? Like, having a Poochiana. Like, Poochiana can't do shit. Jack shit, that's for sure. Let's go freaking quick attack right here. Because I've got no more Mega Drain. I need to heal up, like, for real, man. That gym was way too easy, like, honestly. I, I feel, I kind of feel bad, because I'm pretty sure my Pokemon are a bit over-leveled here. 
but then again, I don't really know what's over leveled anymore in these games because, well, it's been so long since I last played Ruby and Sapphire. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what's considered over leveled. Like in the new games, I definitely know what's considered over leveled at those gems because as all I've been playing as the new games, I haven't really gone back to Fire Red and Leaf Green and Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire. So I don't really know, and this game doesn't really help it out at all, because the experience gives experience for everyone. This is plan, this is plan not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I do was steal some parts from Devin. <laughs> you want them back? That badly take them. And this like that, you get the Devin parts as easy as that. As easy as one, two, three, A, B, C, one, two, three. Yeah, Pico, here, there we go. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? My Pico is her life. And freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Bryony, and you are? And so it's Jake, it is, is it now? To necessarily thank you, Jake. If there's ever a thing that I could do to help you in turn, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to hell tell me. If I'm to be found, I will always be in my cottage by the sea, sea near Palbrook Woods. Come, Pico. High time we're on our way to go home. PK! <laughs> Man, I fucking love that wingle. Oh, these these two lovers aren't here anymore, man. Like, what the? Why? Why? That was like the coolest part in the game. There used to be. Um, I don't think I've actually gone up to this part in my, my. Uh, no, I have. No, I have. Oh yes, we get to capture a whisper now. Anyway, there used to be these two lovers over there, and they like the guy would keep digging and digging just to get to his girl, and then you'd come to rescue with freaking rock smash, and yeah, you'd be the hero of the day. But I guess that's not there anymore. Honestly, don't know why. Like that was honestly the best part in the game, is helping those two lovebirds out. But now it's just gone. Like they, they ruined that. Why? Like I, I don't know. This game, I feel like they're trying to censor it way too much. Cause I couldn't use the fucking word Humphrey, Humphrey. And now these two lovebirds are gone. Like I, I honestly cannot wait till they go to the casino. Cause those like casinos are one of the like most controversial things in Pokemon that have been banned. Like. Or to that point where some games have been delayed to, to be released in some areas is because it like take it took them so like it's because people yeah I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here no I did not want to give Wishmer a nickname but we caught Wishmer here so that's good that this area is fulfilled which is pretty easy because well all you can catch in this cave is Wishmer and for a second I was gonna just tell you guys how like oh what's this to Wishmer. But yeah, for a second, I was just gonna tell you guys, like, wow, man, like, the Wishmer, like, they've, they've like, dropped the encounter uh, rate here for Wishmer, but nope. I'm encountering more Wishmer now than I fucking did last time. Oh, it takes so long for Quick Attack. I really want Seiza to get level 18, because then I can start training up Taylor. Um, because I really want Taylor to evolve soon. Like, man, he's, I think he evolves a little 20 or 22. I know Wishmer evolves a little 22. I'm not sure about Wishmer. They're not fucking, uh, Taylor. I don't, I don't know if it's 20. Or if it's 22. I know I know definitely Wishmer levels on 22 because I was looking up um, its stats and stuff uh, on Serebine. It said level 22 there, so I don't know. I really hope it's Pursuit. Um, Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete that with Leer because, well, Leer is kind of useless this in this point of the game. I guess you can still keep Leer, but it's, it's pretty much useless in this point of the game. Oh, uh, yes, we've got some experience and... Good stuff. Okay, uh, Pokemon. So, oh, you, I need to, I need to level it by like literally one, one level. Then, then you're all what? 160 experience. Then we're all caught up again. I think after that, I'm gonna start leveling up Wishmer here because I, I think you can take care of yourself, man. Like honestly, level 13. Yeah, you can definitely take care of yourself, Wishmer. Not Wishmer. Why do I keep saying Wishmer? Shroomish. The thing is, because they have the, like almost the exact same like name, sorta. Over here is an Nankata. Okay, let's see if we can catch ourselves an Nankata. Like, I really want to fill up this area. Is well, you get them special badges then. A Zigzagoon, of course. Of course I get a freaking Zigzagoon. Like, what the hell? A Zigzagoon. Okay, um, I'm going to use a wing attack here just so it's easier for me to, like, so I can start training up Shroomish. Because I really want Shroomish to be, like, a good level by the time we're at the electric type gym leader. Because, honestly, I need some fighting type moves by then. Because with the team I have right now, I'm going to be fucked by that gym leader. Like, it's the hardest gym leader in, the, in this early in the game. Like, it's only, what, the third gym leader and is honestly the hardest freaking gym leader you can have. It's such a pain because literally there's no Pokemon in, the, in this early in the game 
besides Breloom, um, Torchic, and maybe Vigoroth. Maybe Vigoroth. That can take care of that gym leader. There's nothing else. Oh, what is this? Okay. Let's see. This is a Zetalo. No, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. That's just a freaking Talo with, like, regular abilities and shit. I need an Akata, though. Let's go about this training over here, though. Man, I'm so thirsty tonight. I don't even know why. Like, it's... I think it's just because it's so hot these days. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah. Okay. Wurmple, I'll take care of you, Wurmple, with a wing attack. Quick and simple, quick and simple, just like that. And that Wurmple's dead, like, honestly. I put in no effort with that Wurmple. It's so easy to kill. Level 18, not a problem at all. Not a problem at all, my man. Okay, uh, not, ah, see, so you've got a Nakata. Man, I freaking need a Nakata so I can fill up this area, but I don't, I'm not gonna stay here and wait for to Nakata to pop up. I, I'm pretty sure... The reason why we have stuff like this in the bottom now is so that it's easier for you to keep track of the Pokemon you've caught and whatnot. Because in like X and Y and all the games before this game basically, it's pretty hard to keep track of how much Pokemon you've caught and if you've caught it or not. Basically you rely on whether or not um, there's a Pokeball beside the Pokemon or not. And you don't know if you've caught all the Pokemon in this area or not. Oh yeah, but so oh yeah, that's one more thing. Someone pointed out that I and I think Paddleberg Wids there is uh you can catch a Silicon or a Cascoon. Um, I actually got one because my uh, Wurmple evolved while I was looking for this Talo. I was battling Pokemon while I was looking for Talo. Actually, no, I wasn't looking for Talo. I was looking for Shroomish, and my Wurmple evolved into a I think a Cascoon. So that that's done for me. I don't really need. A, uh, I don't need um, a silicone. In oh, what do you know? A Nakata! Let's catch this bad boy. Let's catch him right now. Okay. Uh, no. Mm. I feel like if, you, if I use quick attack, he's gonna die. Because I'm like a whole 12 levels ahead of him. So I'm just gonna go for a Pokeball here. Nice and simple Pokeball. That's a, that's a catch Nakata, right? Like, come on. Nakata is not hard to catch. See? It's not hard to catch a Nakata. Like, I was kind of worried there for a second because I only have three Pokeballs. I should probably buy some more Pokeballs. Is because I think in Duford Town, where we're going next, there's going to be a shit ton of Pokemon to catch there. Ah, Nakata! Bug ground! I can oh shit, I can like zoom into this thing. <laughs> That's giant. Wow! I didn't know you could do this. This is sick. I legit didn't know you could do that. Okay, no, I did not want to give a nickname to Nakata because, well, I don't have a nickname for it. I don't plan on using my team. So this area is done. Like that, we got the nice little badge over there saying we've collapsed all the, all the Pokemon over there. What, what is this? There seems to be a hidden Pokemon somewhere. Where? There, okay, I think I think I've read somewhere that you can actually uh, Oh, no, this is not the Pokemon Pokemon Center. You can actually encounter uh, Cacleon in random areas like it could be any freaking town and you can just encounter Cacleons there. So Yeah, that's kind of that's, that's pretty cool actually, but I don't think you can actually capture them So organize boxes here. Let us put our wishman here and our Nagata And yeah, so there there is my uh what is it? Yeah, Cascoon. So I don't need that. Our box is looking pretty full right now. Like, we're slowly but steadily, we're gonna be capturing all the Pokemon in freaking Hoenn. And uh, yeah, because you can actually capture. I don't think you can capture all the legendaries, but you can capture a variety of them. You can capture Ho Ho, Lugia, Deoxys, uh, Verizion, Cabalion. You can capture a whole bunch of legendaries in after game, so I'm really stoked for that. Like, honestly, cannot wait for after game for this game. After game is oh my bad. After game is gonna be so fucking hype. Like, honestly, okay, here you go. Here's your Devon goods. Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? You did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know it's my thing, so I'll give you a great ball. 
Wow, all that work for a frickin' great ball. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Oh, yes, young man, please come with me. Okay, I'll definitely come with you. You better... Holy shit, this building is sick, man. I'm pretty sure this building is, like, improved or something, because that... It looks so much better in this game. Holy! This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you he wait here just for a moment? Well, I guess, since I th I'm pretty sure your boss gives me something for my PokéNav, or the DexNav as it's called. Now it's not called the PokéNav anymore, it's called the DexNav. Please go ahead! Okay! Man, this guy looks sharp as fuck. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just now you how we have quite a bit of thank, thank for you. So you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of a rival trainer like you. Now I want you to know I know I'm a president you can trust. I'd never be so mean to ask ask for a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenav Plus for a moment. Oh, it's called the Pokenav Plus. Okay. Okay, I thought it was called the Dexnav. But it's fun on your Pokenav. What the hell is this? It's an dispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime and any place. Now let me get into the important issue what is need you to do. I want you to ask to deliver this letter to a man named Steven. You should find him in Deford, and Jake obtained the letter. Oh boy, the letter! You'll have the, you'll have to cross the sea to reach Deford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Brownie, the old sailor who lives in that hut on Route 104, to help with the crossing. Go find him, and he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If he does ever, if you if you're ah, what the fuck, if you're uns ever unsure what to do, just come and talk to me with me again. Okay, so I wanna check out this thing. What what is this, what does this do? Okay. Sure. Hell yes! <laughs> so, you don't even need TV anymore in this game. The buzz now just gives you everything. That's, that's really cool, actually. Wow, I... I, I knew that we had something like that in the game, but I never knew it was that good. So over here is actually something pretty cool. Um, I think it's this guy. He was talking about the Dream World abilities and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon. And I've heard that my revival who lives far away is doing the same research. I can't lose his race. So yeah, that that's actually pretty cool when I first... When we first read that when the games came out, like when the original games came out, Ruby and Sapphire, we had no clue what they were talking about, but now we do. Oh, this guy revives your fossils. Now we do, and they're actually talking about, like, the dream world stuff, and like, the thing that was introduced in black and white. So, there's, I'm pretty sure most of these inventions that they talk about here have already been added into Pokemon games, so it's just really cool when you think about it, like, all those inventions that you're like, ah, it's never gonna happen, actually came true in some of the Pokemon games. Okay, I'll, I'll always be welcome here. This is fucking sick. Like, look at this. There's like a no. Is that a plume fossil? There's a freaking uh, Omite fossil here. Oh, that's sick. They have all like these fossils and shit there, man. Like, ah, oh, this building looks so much better now too. Like, there's so much detail into it. What did you say? It sounds like they've recovered the stolen Devon parts. No, I recovered them. So, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, here's me. I, I knew we were gonna battle her sometime. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Jake. Have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on my front of my lease. I've caught so many Pokemon in Palabog Woods that I run out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. I passed by Mr. Bronny when I was in Palabog Woods. Hmm, I guess he must have been on his way home to his cottage on Route 104. Jake, you just moved here, so there's no way you could know, Miss, but Mr. Bronny was once a highly respected seafarer. Well, isn't that great to know? Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know that, because, like, I love Mr. Briny and his Pico. Like, that's my main boy right there, Mr. Briny. Okay, and I'm, you don't battle her? I need to go talk to her again. I just want to see if you battle her or not, because I know 
you're supposed to battle her or something like that, and I would love to battle her right now so I could dig to get the experience. Just so my shroomish isn't on a level once we get to Duford. Um. Nope, I guess you're not really important. Um. So yeah, uh, are our Pokemon healed up? I believe they are. Yes, they are. So everything's looking fine and sharp right now. Let's switch you up in front. And... I'll see you guys back once we're at Mr. Briny's cottage because it's going to take a long time to get there. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Right here is a tree that we can cut down to get a Pokeball. I forgot about this tree. There's actually quite a lot of trees in Palbo Woods that you can cut down to get the Pokeballs and stuff like that. Right, there's a revive, so that's one of the first revives we ever get in the game. So I highly recommend you pick that up just because it's so important. So something interesting popped up on my area nav right here. And if you click right there, it'll tell you that James in Pablo Gordon is ready to battle. So let's can we can we do anything with that? No. Okay, well we're in Pablo Gordon right now. And the right here you can you, you see there's a fucking tree to cut down here. So let's go cut this tree down. And um Let's see. We've caught everything here except for... Oh, it's a Silcoon we need. You can catch a Silcoon here? What? What? You can catch a Silcoon in here? Wow, okay. I didn't... Honestly, I did not know you can catch a Silcoon in here for crying out loud. Like, I... I knew you can catch, like, Cascoons and stuff. I didn't know you can catch a Silcoon. I thought it was only in Ruby. But I guess you can catch an Alpha Sapphire, so why not? I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll do that in a second, actually. Um, you. Do you battle? Oh, you... Oh, the thing you have is a Pokemon Plus. That means you're trained to that. You should try this item. And Miracles. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm going to give that to my, um, Sage, or to our Sage right now. That's a, that's a really good item, actually. So I'm really happy I went back here. Uh, let's see. Where? There's we go. Let's give that to Sage there. Exit out of that. And let's see. What else? I don't. Oh, right here you train. That's, that's really good. Right here. That's where you train, uh, Eevee to get a leaf on. That's actually that's pretty interesting. Hmm. I'm really happy I found that. Oh, what what is what is happening here? Holy shit, level 22? What the fuck? What is this? A zigzag level 22. Or no. What what? What okay, I'm I'm confused here. It's his level it's his search level 22. Is it level 22 or is it his- what? No, what the fuck? It told me it was level 22 or is the search level, whatever it is. I don't even know what the search level is. Um... No, I think we've- we found everything here that we needed to find. Except for a damn Silcoon, I need a Silcoon! Oh, what the hell? Oh, Silcoon! There was a lag right there, I don't know what happened there. We found a Silicoon, that's sick! Okay, I'm gonna go for a Stun Spore here, yeah, Stun Spore. And I don't, I don't think I need to do that, but whatever, I'll just do that. And it's paralyzed now, and I, the only move it has hardened, so that's not really bad at all. And yeah, Silicoon. Ah, oh, fuck, you have Shed Skin, that's, pretty, that's a pretty rare ability, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Shed Skin's a pretty rare ability for Silicoon. If I'm not mistaken at all, actually. But yeah, I don't know why it's lagging, like, I'm f- Ah, oh, this computer is so fucked these days, like, honest, I don't know what's happening with it. I think it might have a virus or something on it, because it's- I don't know why, it just does that sometimes. Anyway, let's go for a leech seed here, so that way, I need to fucking catch this thing, because then I'm complete. Your friend Sam is nearby. Well, Sam is playing the game right now. <laughs> yeah, um, he's been playing the game for, like, I'm pretty sure almost at the freaking Elite before. So, anyway, um... I'm gonna go for one more Pokeball. Oh, fuck, I only have one left. Let's go for a Premier Ball. But I got two Great Balls, though, so I'll, I'll go for this one Pokeball. If that doesn't work, I'll just sit here and spam Leech Seeds until it's in yellow health, because I really need a Silicon. Fuck, man, like, what? what is wrong with you? I should be able to catch a Silicon. It's a friggin' Silicon. A Silicon! There we go. Let's get some health back here, for fuck's sake. Now let's Paralyze Heal you once again, or... No, not Paralyzed Heal. I'll Stun Spore you. There we go. Because I don't know why. This is like, this is kind of my own personal reason why I'm catching this all Pokemon, all these Pokemon. But then again, it's also for your benefit as well. Because I'm pretty sure 
if you do catch all the Pokemon in the area that's on the bottom screen, at the end of the game, you'll get an award or something like that. I don't know. That's just what I think is going to happen. I haven't read anything about it, but that's just what I feel like is going to happen. Because, like, why not? Why would you not get an award for catching all the Pokemon in the bottom? Like, that tells you to catch. Like, and why would there be little badges in the corner? Is for your own benefit? No, I think you're going to get something in the end of the game for this. That's what I'm thinking right now, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to go for a Great Ball now. Like, a Great Ball. No, not Premier Ball. I think a Great Ball should do it. Like, come on now, Silicoon. Like, get your shit together, man. Like, I should be able to catch you. One. Two. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We got ourselves a Silicoon, and that's all the Pokemon in this area. Oh, I'm so sparked for this. Okay, Silicoon's added to your Pokedex. That is wonderful. Let's see this entry, though. Let's see this entry. It's 22 pounds. Okay, that's that's too much to read. I'm not gonna read all that. I'm sorry. It's way too much to read. Way too much to read. Oh, we caught everything here. That's hype. That's real hype. What the hell? I'm not even gonna bother looking at that. Oh, I got mail. What the hell? There's so many notifications on my screen. Like, what is this? Sure, you've passed by one person. That's not really news, okay. Okay, that's not really news, and I know what this is. Why is there a Pokeball there? I don't care. Ah, uh, should we go battle? Should we go battle James? Nah, we're not gonna battle James, because all he has is a Nakata, so I can't really do anything with the Nakata. Fuck. Was there a Pokeball up here that I go? No, there's no Pokeball, because... Yeah, there's no Pokeball over there, I don't think. A Wingle, though! We've already caught this... We've already caught a Wingle, though, so I don't, I don't need to catch this thing. But there we go. Let's run from this Wingle. Let's go to Doofer Town! Why the hell not? Like, seriously, Doofer Town is going to be really cool. Over here is where we need to go. We need to catch this <laughs> freaking old man. Man, there we go. Hold on, Lance. Okay, I forgot. How did I, what, what kind of voice did I give him? I can't keep to a voice. Only voice I can keep to is Maze and that nerdy guys. Hold on, Lance. Believe that Pingo. No, that, no, I, yeah. Oh, but ain't Jake. You're the one who saved my Pingo. Aye, aye, but you owed me for that day. What's that? You want to say it with me? What's this all about, then? A letter bound for Duford? Certainly, I'd be no problem at all. You've come to the right man. Shall we host hoist sail for Duford at once? Head to do Ferd, yes. Therefore, we're coming. Anchors away. And this guy's gonna fucking yacht now. You're gonna see this in one second. Look at this. How hype is that? There's Pico right there. Honestly, he's gonna fucking yacht now. It's not this little skimpy ass boat anymore. He's got a yacht. A yacht. Man, that's impressive. And just like that. We arrive in Duford Town. Ahoy! We've shuck land in Duford, lad! I suppose you'll be heading as short to deliver the letter to what's his name? Or whoever. 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 If you're ever feeling lost and drift, though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon Gym. Blue Deer Brawley surely knows everyone and everything that goes on his, on in his town. Will do, man. Will do. Now, there are no all Pokemon in this area. Okay, that's, that's good to know. That's really good to know, I guess. But yeah, are we going to end it off here just because it's already 40 minutes? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for all the support you guys have given in the series so far. It really means a lot to me. And if there's anything else you want me to improve on, let me know. Just comment and answer the question today. Let's get interactive. It's crazy here. And let's just make this a good time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And the next episode should be up in about an hour or so. Uh, so yeah, keep in mind for that. Until next time, peace out. See you guys then.